Hey everyone, Matt from MKRC. In today's video, the X-Max is going under the knife, so stick around. We are at the park doing a baseline speed test on the X-Max. I'll be putting the gear ratio on the screen. Full throttle wheels. Full speed. Oh god. Got it. 38 miles an hour. The first big upgrade for the X-Max is going to be a Hobbywing Max 5 ESC. I chose this ESC because it is extremely highly rated and it is a fifth scale electronic speed controller, meaning that this truck falls somewhere between one sixth and one fifth scale. And so this should be just the right fit. When you buy Hobbywing ESCs, they usually try and sell you a combo package. In my case, I went ahead and picked up a 5687 1100 kV brushless motor to go along with this ESC. And I think, based on my research on the internet, this thing is going to be quite fast with some gearing changes. The upgrades on my X-Max blew way out of proportion and it all started with this new NSDRC servo. This is the RS1 and I bought this because the stock X-Max servo was getting tired and I wanted the best. What I've learned with servos over the years is if you buy the best, you won't have issues. And this thing's fully rebuildable, warrantied, waterproof and serviceable. To make all these upgrades fit together, I also ordered up some billet aluminum parts from M2C Racing. So we've got their guillotine motor mount, their ESC and chassis brace, and a motor support. I also went ahead and picked up some RPM hinge pins, a 1 10th scale servo adapter, some new fans for the ESCs because I seem to have problems with temperature control. I got this new gear cover. I also went ahead and picked up these Viviton Mod 1.5 gears. And these things are massive. This is a 25, 35 pinion spur. So let's get everything unboxed. Let's tear into this truck and get things installed. I've got to say, these Proline belted tires they're doing pretty darn good. My X-Max is in completely stock form. Uh, so this means I'm running the stock Traxxas Valinian motor and their ESC. I haven't had any issues with Traxxas Electronics, but I just want a little bit more out of this truck. I want this to perform like some of the competitors in the market. They can do rolling backflips on flat ground and easily flip in the air and all sorts of good stuff. And really make this an all around even better basher than it currently is. Let's go ahead and unbox the motor and ESC. I've already taken the plastic off the motor. We'll slide that out. Holy smokes. This thing. This thing is massive. So this is a 5687, 1100 kV Hobbywing easy run motor next to a regular old 12 ounce soda can. So I would say the height about the same. The diameter, well, it's about the diameter of the inside of a soda can. This thing is going to be quite powerful. And the ESC is equally as large. This is amazing. I think it's time to install the M2C chassis brace and ESC mount. This is the M2C racing motor guillotine. Basically, it sits in the back of the truck and they can slide up and down to be adjusted so you can set your gear mesh correctly and what's really nice about it is you can mount this plate to your motor and then set this into place and tighten it all down. I'm going to get this plate mounted to the motor and I'm going to attach this to the truck and then we can slide it all in and set our mesh. I've gone ahead and assembled the Viviton Mod 1.5 gears with the silver brace right there. So that just rests in the stock position and supports this shaft from both ends so that it doesn't flex in serious jumps. Jump forward in time a bit and we have a completed X-Max. I've got the motor installed with the mesh set correctly. Sounds good. They say that you need to run this mesh a little bit tighter, so I'm gonna be watching for that. Right now it is super noisy. 
I've got the ESC mounted. Fun fact, these Hobbywing ESCs, at least the Max 5, doesn't have threads on the bottom, so you're just screwing into plastic. So I did that, and uh, didn't feel very stable, so I used my favorite double-sided tape locking Velcro solution. And I think that's gonna hold on there nice. Same thing I did for the power button. This gives me the ability to pop things off and move them, which I really like. On top of the Viviton Mod 1.5 gears, I've got the Hot Racing gear cover down there. And I have my new NSD RC servo installed, which you will see. I also had to solder on my leads, which was nice. I was able to do a much better job than when I did my X-Max originally. My pro tip would be remove your ESC, put it on the workbench and then work on it. I'm gonna get the wheel slap back onto this thing and we're gonna take it for its first test drive. Steering is strong. And our first move, <laughs> Come on, land. Well, this thing is significantly faster. <laughs> Just taking it easy on the first run and it looks like I lost one of the grub screws. Uh, wear seems good, mesh seems good. It's pulling wheelies, so I'm gonna go get another grub screw, lock tight that in, let it sit overnight, and then we'll see how it goes on the next run. We are at the second bashing spot with the new and improved X-Max. Uh, I'm gonna try and do some speed runs. This park isn't very large, but still gonna have some fun. Steering feels much better. My goodness, this thing is fast now. I'm not even half throttle. And I just don't think I have the runway here. I reached, looks like about 30 miles an hour, but that was barely even half throttle. So, let's see. Time to go find another location. We are at location number two to try and do some speed testing. Let's get to it. Seven miles an hour, would you believe that? Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see here, the X-Max is in two pieces. Uh, I'm currently working out some steering issues. Uh, NSDRC recommends that you run a BEC for these servos, and so I'm in the process of getting one of those. Once I do, we'll get this thing installed and take it back out for some more top speed tests. Other than that, I think this thing is going to be an excellent basher. I can't wait to get it to a skate park and I can't wait to truly see how fast it can go. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.